time for another restaurant story. Hi there, welcome. Hey, how you doing? May I get you two started with anything to drink? Yes, but give me just a second. Okay, kid, you have got to stop fidgeting. You are already driving me nuts. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Stark, but we've been driving for like a hundred hours and Ned and MJ are probably already there and Flash is probably picking out the best hotel room. I'm gonna get stuck in the one at the end of the hallway. Okay, well, it wasn't in my plan today to drive a nerd across state lines to an academic decathlon competition. No, I was under the impression that there was a bus that was going to do that for me. And, you know, I woke up on time. I didn't miss that bus, right? Because that was you. You're the one that did that. And yet, I'm the one driving your dumb ass there. So, we're all making sacrifices today. Okay, but like Ned was over and he showed me this really awesome video game. It's called Fall Guys. So you're this little like penguin person and you're going through this obstacle course and you can like pull people's tails and... I mean, we were studying. Ned and I were studying math. Good God. I will have a Lagavulin. Neat, please. Yep, Lagavulin. Got it. Oh, I'll have a Shirley Temple. Nope, he will have water. Oh, come on, Mr. Stark, please. Nope, no way. You are already vibrating as it is. There is no way I'm sitting in a car with you for another three hours while you're bouncing off the walls, hopped up on sugar. Nope, absolutely not. Please, 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 Mr. Stark, can I just have one Shirley Temple? I will be so quiet the whole car ride. You won't even know that I'm there. I will just sit in the back and I will study and I'll go over my flashcards. You'll have no idea that I was ever there even at all. I just want one Shirley Temple. Yeah, you want a Shirley Temple? Well, I want a million dollars, so tough. You literally have a billion dollars. Yeah, and it's awesome. So, water for the kid. <gasps> Can I have a Red Bull? No, water. Great, I'll be back with the water and the scotch. Um, hi, waitress. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Hi there, ma'am. How may I help you? Um, this fork is not polished. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another one. Do you even understand what kind of health hazard this is? So the fork is clean. Those are just water droplets from when it came out of the dishwasher. I could have died eating with this, so I expect my entire meal to be comp today. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not going to be able to do that for you. Well, you are disrespectful and incompetent. Now take your poison fork back. Take it. <gasps> Wait, what? Ew, what the hell is this? Oh my god, it's like a 